Hi everyone and welcome to Fresh from my garden. These are the Gelardia flowers also known as blanket flowers and they are a part of our vegetable patch in the garden. So there are two colors of Gelardia flowers that we have in our garden and they've been growing in our vegetable patch for more than two years and we planted them as small saplings from our community garden and they have been spreading over the vegetable patch and growing beautifully over the last few years. So as we cleaned out the vegetable patch for weeds we even took out a few of these plants but as you can see here they are still continuing to spread out and grow as a blanket on the vegetable patch. So these are a variety of beautiful sun loving plants and they are also drought tolerant. So they are in our vegetable patch as I mentioned earlier and we have not been giving any extra attention apart from the fertilizer and watering that we do for our vegetables on a regular basis. So they continue to grow very nicely and they are self seeding plants and perennial plants so they grow back every season and they bloom almost throughout the year except for when the weather is too cold so they are summer flowers and they bloom well in the summer and in full sun so they receive at least six to seven hours of sunlight every day which is really required for these plants to bloom well and they also sell seed and they spread across the patch wherever they are planted and they regrow back every year. So once we plant these beautiful plants in our garden, we don't need to purchase them every single year. And these are plants that we got as saplings. So there were a lot of these plants in our community garden and we got a few saplings from the garden and they were planted here and then we have never purchased them ever again. Now this is a variety of Gelardia known as the Gelardia grandiflora and also known as the Indian blanket flower and since these plants are drought tolerant they don't really like extra moist or extra wet soil. They can do well even if they are not watered for a couple of days during moderate heat conditions but during the extreme summer time it's best to water them at least once every day when we look closely at these beautiful flowers we can notice that there are multiple mini florets in each of the flowers making this a very unique and beautiful flower these plants don't grow very tall and they remain bushy and in clusters so they are great for flower beds and if we want to create a wild flower patch in the garden. And they also attract a lot of butterflies and pollinators to the garden making this a great addition to add to your vegetable patch. So this is a fairly easy to grow flowering plant that blooms all through summer if we are planting this in well drained soil and in a spot that receives at least six to seven hours of sunlight. I hope you enjoyed a view of this beautiful patch of blanket flowers from our garden. So they are really beneficial and attract a lot of pollinators. So we love to keep them as a part of our garden. Do let me know in the comments about the different kinds of summer flowers or wild flowers that you like to grow in your garden. They are the best way to attract a lot of pollinators and prevent pests and to grow our vegetables in an organic manner. Please do support our channel and do watch our videos regularly as we try to promote organic methods of gardening and prevent any kind of pesticide usage. See you again in another video. Thanks for watching Fresh from my Garden.